Ooh, I'm excited about this one. I think this is my best Notion habit tracker design yet. And I'm hoping it will help a lot of you turn goals into reality through building the right habits that actually stick. Hi friends, it's Simon and today's video is part of my Make a Plan in Jan month, but you can do this anytime. I'll give you a brief tour of this super cool new habit tracker template for tracking your habits in Notion and show you how to easily add a graph to visualize your progress. And thank you to the book summary tool where I discovered these ideas short form for sponsoring this video. Now you can download this template now at bettercreating.com either as this standalone habit tracker template or as the larger integrated habit journal template that combines the tracker with a journaling system and my recent goal setting and yearly planner template all in one. I shared that in my last video, links below if you missed it. Now what I love about this new habit tracker design is that it's far more powerful than a set of checkboxes but it's easier to use than you might expect. In fact, to all you existing Notion Live OS template users, I think this is the simple habit tracker system that I should have created last year. And PS, I'll be working this into my larger Live OS templates too, so I'll be in touch with existing Live OS users about how you and add it to your own system if you just want to integrate it. Just before we look at this Notion tracker, let's take a moment to clarify exactly why you might want to use a habit tracker to improve your daily life. The idea of lifestyle design and behavior design has been around for a long time now in the productivity space, but there is one idea at the heart of it that I think has been super effective for me personally. Building intentional habits that lead you to the life you want faster. So as James Clear famously says in his book Atomic Habits, it's the systems that we fall back on that matter most. So in order to build an effective habit, we should first understand why we want something to change and that way we are far more likely to actually make it happen. I believe the best way to do this is to reflect and review on your previous year and then identify what you want to build on or change in the next. I'm not going to dive deep into that in this video but you might enjoy this year's guided yearly planning video listed in the description to get you started first and there's an accompanying PDF guide and Notion template to do that before you then line that up with the habits you want to take into the next year. So let's take a look at the template. What's really cool about this is it's simple to use. I see today's day automatically appear in a day's database and I can just click from a mobile, top of the view or on this page and just click the button and it will log those to the current day. I can then refresh my graph and it will update how many habits have been checked for the day so I can track my progress. Below that we have my habit report card which is the habit tracker database where I can see all of my habits set up for the current year and it will report on it. For example here I have a 9 out of 208 yogas completed. If I click log yoga it will add yoga and then we watch this and it updates it to 10 out of 9 and I refresh this and it moves up. Really cool. I'm going to show you how all this works in a moment but first of all let's look at the components of this system. So we have up here this habit tracker view and then a year summary where I can jump through to a view of the years database and I can click into 2024 and see all habits linked to 2024 and their reports and the related habits to that year. So you can track your entire year, which I think is pretty cool. You'll see we've got the buttons, which we'll talk about in a bit, the days database and the habit tracker database. So down the bottom here, that's the other dashboard. And I have a page for system databases where you'll see all of the key databases this is built out of. So you'll see the habit tracker database has various formulas and progress reports, start dates and end dates, a days database, which just creates a new day every day, and then you can link to it. And you can actually automate that so that it adds new days automatically and a year's database. So in terms of my reporting views for these habits, if I click into reading, you'll see that I have the related year it's linked to, the start date I want to start tracking and the end date and the number of instances I want to do reading. So I want to do it three times per week. It calculates that it's a duration of 52 weeks between this date and this date and therefore the total target number I need to hit is 156. It's got the number of instances I've already logged and then a report which is a formula which tells me a result. This is basically for these board views. I've then got a progress report. This is 
a formula that will work out the progress percentage I've made. So currently my progress is 13 out of 156, that's 8%. And I have a when then intention. So I like this because you can say, when I go to bed, then read Kindle for at least five minutes, for example. And the last log date it was locked. And it's just using a simple template to do that. I'll show you how to add new habits in a little bit, but I suspect what a lot of you will be interested in is how I got this reporting graph to happen. If I click that I published a video today and that I logged meditation and then I refresh this graph, you'll see it goes up to five. Now that is using something called chart base. Here it is. I have a full video on how to set this up for free for one graph, or I think chart base is something like $4 a month if you want to do multiple graphs like my pro account, but you can essentially create a habit tracker chart. You link it to the database you want to link it to, and you can kind of design how it's sorted within here. You would then just click get in bed, and then you would jump to your habit tracker and just paste it. Now, if you didn't want to use chart base, there is another option called rows, and I really recommend checking this out. It's a free, slightly more complicated system to use, but it's free for unlimited charts and will work brilliantly for a habit tracker. Works in a similar way. You add the database into here, build the table, and then drop it into Notion in the same way. So check out rows or chart base, and I've got a video below to show you how to do it. Something I think everyone should do within this system is make sure that their days automatically add each new day. And that's really easily done now in Notion. You can go here, go to the default template for app today, click on the little dots, go to repeat and set to repeat every day at a specific time. Make sure it's your time zone here and save it. And that now means that that will just automatically add a day. It will mean that if you don't log a habit, you'll get zero in the graph really, really useful. So next up, I'm going to show you how to add habits into this system and set up those buttons. But without a deeper understanding of what an effective habit actually is, we're going to struggle to make it stick at all. So let's just take a moment to understand what makes a good habit in the first place and what makes it happen. So I can tell you also about today's sponsor, Shortform. So in his book, Tiny Habits, Stanford behavioral scientist BJ Fogg shares a great approach to structuring how we build new habits. And I've worked that into this system. It's called ABC. So you can anchor the habit to a point in your regular routine. That's my when then system. And then express the tiny behavior shift in its simplest form. Read a book every five minutes. I could probably name mine differently. And then finally, you can celebrate when you've executed it. For me, that's clicking a button and looking at that lovely graph. Now, I recommend grabbing his book via the link in the description, or you could check it out on what I think is the world's best non-fiction book summary tool, today's sponsor, Shortform. First off, if you haven't heard of it, I think this app is amazing and it's not intended for just replacing how you read books. But I have loved using it for reading condensed views of a book, so I've got a clearer overview before I read it in full. And I've also found it really useful for recapping key ideas in books I read a while back. I actually used the summary of Tiny Habits to recall Fogg's ABC concept, put it in this very video. And there's always a one pager covering the main ideas as a whole, and then detailed chapter by chapter summaries. So they always build on the ideas within the system. And what's really cool about short form is it's kind of more than that. It offers reflections, exercises to engage deeper. Plus, if the author is saying something really bold in one direction, they'll also offer things called short form notes that suggest the alternative viewpoint that you should probably consider. So you're not just like reading in some kind of bubble, you're going to be informed. If you want to deepen your understanding like me in subjects like self-improvement, productivity, entrepreneurship, give short form a try through my special link, shortform.com forward slash better creating. You're going to get five days unlimited access and 20% off the annual subscription when joining. That's basically two and a half months free. They add loads of new books every week. I can't recommend it enough to so give shortform a try. So let me show you the process of how to add a habit. We'll go new habit. You can click here or you could use this. It's a default template. So we can just click new. It will call it a new habit. And I'm going to make this one write a weekly review reflection. I'm going to change the icon because that's satisfying. I'm going to set my start date as let's make it the 1st of Jan. And I want to track it until the end of the year because it's 2024, 52 weeks. Per week, I want to do it once a week. There you go, my target is 52. That's it, you've set it up. I'm then going to write in here my implementation intention. When then. So I'm going to write when I finish 
work on Friday, then open Notion, journal, and reflect. There we go. So there's the habit set up, but we need a means to link it to today and to trigger it with a button. So the next stage is I'm just gonna take any one of these, I'm going to click on these dots and click duplicate. I'm gonna click on the little edit button here, go in, and I'm gonna put this one as write weekly review. I'm gonna change the icon to match the one I just set, the pen, so it all joins up. And then the most important part of this, I wanna remove meditation and set it to the write weekly review. So I've now got it to log habits. Now there's a very important thing in here that you mustn't touch, and it is this filter. So this filter, will only change things where the day contains at today. Don't touch that filter, it's really important. If you don't have that filter, it will update every single day in the system, right? And I click done. That should be it, we should be set up. So let's try it. Write weekly review. It's added it to the list up here on the day. Let's refresh the graph. There you go, it's jumped up to six, fantastic. And then down here, we've logged one out of 52 complete. That is how you add and run a new habit in the system. And if you wanna know a little bit more about how this works, in automations here, I have a system which is setting today's date in the days database. So I'm just gonna click on that, show you what that is. If I edit it, you'll see that when a page is added, it sets today's date as today. And that's how those two systems work together. Really nice. The other little thing I've done here is to label the days. So in the template for the day, if I open that and click edit, you'll see I've linked it to the current year, so you'd have to change that each year, but also I've labeled it as at today when duplicated. So that means that it will always name the day as the current day. So both of those systems are really, really useful. Now I think the last bit of essential information in this system is what makes an effective habit. And Stephen R. Covey, famously describes what is an effective habit with his Venn diagram from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So I just dropped that into my system as a reminder. We basically need to balance knowledge of what to do, and perhaps more importantly, why to do it, with developing the right skills of how to do it. And then also, of course, we need to give ourselves the drive and the desire or want to do the thing in the first place. Simply recognizing this roadmap might allow you to actually break a goal down that you have in everyday life into a set of effective habits that might effectively answer each. Now, if you wanted to take this habit tracker further, you could start to link it to things like a goal setting calendar or a journal. And that's exactly what I've done in the slightly larger version of the template, my habit journal. So this essentially is exactly the same as the other template, but what it adds to the system is a stoic prompted journal, a copy of that other template of mine, and my goal setting and yearly planner that is referenced in that previous video we talked about with the related PDF. So what's really cool about this is it will join everything up. So here's today, for example, if I click journal, not only am I now in my journaling database and able to pick from one of these templated prompts, I'm gonna go for just a simple new daily reflection, but if you wait, you'll spot that it also links to today's date and updates all the information in line with it. So if I now click on start my daily reflection, there's a set of prompts within it. And this is true throughout the whole system of the journal. There you go, it's linked the journal entry to the system. And I can also be logging habits within the habit log section. I can then also jump through to the journaling dashboard and you can see all your reflections, you can see today's log. So I think this is a really nice option for journaling. And as I say, there's all those lovely prompts within it. So check out my journaling, old journaling video if you wanna check that out. And of course we then have my goal setting and yearly planner, uh, much like previously. But what's cool about this is you can link uh, your goals. And if you wanted to link those goals to habits, you could then potentially set that up as well. So that's something that's worth considering in how you manage and build out a habit tracker in Notion like this. Okay, let me know in the comments what habits you wanna build this year and why, I'd love to hear. And if you'd like to feel a little bit more on top of your tasks and projects as well, you should definitely watch this video next for how you can also use Notion to organize those tasks and keep track of your time that you spend on them. Or this one for my top tips for staying organized in the simplest ways there are in Notion. It would be awesome if you subscribed if you haven't. Amazing if you left a like. I'd better get back to creating. See ya.